Wow. After fighting against countless tryhards who go SMG Infiltrator, Rocket Dump, use shotguns, whatever competitive LMGs their faction has, I have finally done it. I have become an enigmatic member of the board. And now the TR has put a $1,337,420 bounty on my head while the VS is trying to behead me for blasphemy against Spandex and Papavani. None of you realize how happy I was when I found out that this gun was good. The most difficult grind in Plants Eye history gave me a good gun. Y'all are as surprised as I am, but I'ma explain why this gun is good. The executive silencer has no loss in bullet velocity, and that makes it OP against glue sniffing enemies that swear allegiance to communism or spandex. Also, you have 50% more accuracy when aiming, which makes headshots easier. Finally, you have more ammo in reserve. While this all sounds nice, that's practically meaningless unless you're a stalker infiltrator. Now, although this weapon is good, it ain't the second coming of Jesus Christ. There are four issues with this weapon. It's not a mag scatter, it's not an underboss, it's not a commissioner, and it only has 13 rounds. So if you're not accurate, this downside will make you lose your kill or your life. Aim carefully, because you will need it. Now, what does this mean to the executive? You need to aim your 13 shots carefully. Luckily, the silencer gives you the drop on enemies, and the increased accuracy makes life easier, ensuring that you can land those 13 shots a bit easier. While having less ammo per clip sucks, it ain't like you were going to drop two bodies per magazine anyway. It's possible, yes, but unlikely given the circumstances. Now on that note, is the gun worth a racksmith 5 pistols for? Uh, not unless you enjoy suffering. The executive is meant for increasing directive score and prestige, not practicality. And while it is good, it ain't like it's going to outperform most of the revolvers and faction specific pistols y'all already got. So I would just stick with those. And is the gun worth using? Well, that depends. Are you a show off? While it is a good gun, the executive is meant for something else. It's the gun that you use for bragging rights. When you kill someone with this, you're sending a message. Hey, I have a special gun that pretty much nobody owns. Now you gotta pay attention to me. The executive is a massive source of prestige, and that's because it's the hardest gun in the game to get if you do not boost for it. 95% of people probably won't even consider getting this gun because of the great difficulty that comes with a Raxman 5 pistols. Now yes, I know there are better options, believe me, I would know, because I Araxium them. But, this gun earns a seat at the table, because it's the rarest thing people may ever see. Revolvers, directive LMGs, and carbines, that shit's common. Anyone can get it after a few days at a Biolab, or the Crown, or Crooks HQ, depending on which continent gets locked after a Vonu Ghost Cap, or a TR Zerg. But, getting a directive pistol is some next level shit. It's a badge of honor that very few people can say they have. And I got nothing but mad respect for anyone else that ranks some 5 pistols, regardless of what faction you play on. The executive is a good gun and the perfect status symbol. I mean shit, it already does that better than most directive guns in this game, so that's gotta mean something, right? So, if you have the executive, go forth and fight for freedom and style. Show it off, because y'all earned at least that much. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this review entertaining and informative. Peace out.